their government. These problems have alienated large segments of the Afghan population. They do not trust GIROA to provide their essential needs, such as security, justice, and basic services. This crisis of confidence, coupled with the, dis with the distinct lack of economic and educational opportunity, has created fertile ground for the insurgency. ISAF's center of gravity is the will of the ability to provide the needs of the population by, with, and through the Afghan government. A foreign army alone cannot beat an insurgency. The insurgency in Afghanistan requires an Afghan solution. This is their war, and in the end, ISAF's competency will, pr will prove less decisive than GIROA's eventual success requires, eventual success requires capable Afghans' uh, governance capabilities and security forces. While these institutions are still developing, ISAF and the international community must provide substantial assistance to Afghanistan until the Afghan people make the decision to support their government and are capable of providing for their own security. An isolating geography and a natural aversion to foreign intervention further works against the ISAF. Historical grievances reinforce connections to tribal or ethnic identity and can diminish the appeal of a centralized state. All ethnicities, particularly the Pashtuns, have traditionally sought a, a degree of independence from the central government, particularly when it is not seen as acting in the best interest of the population. These and other factors result in elements of the population tolerating the insurgency and calling to push out foreigners. Nonetheless, the Afghan people also expect appropriate governance the delivery of basic services and the provision of justice. The popular myth that Afghans do not want governance is overplayed. While Afghan, while Afghan society is rooted in tribal structures and ethnic identities, Afghans do have a sense of national identity. However, these generalizations risk oversimplifying this uniquely complicated environment. The complex social landscape of Afghanistan is in many ways much more difficult to understand than Afghanistan's enemies. Insurgent groups have been the f focus of U.S. and allied intelligence for many years. However, ISLI have has not sufficiently studied Afghanistan's people whose needs, identities, and grievances vary from province to province and from valley to valley. This complex environment is challenging to understand, particularly for foreigners. For this strategy to succeed, ISAF leaders must redouble efforts to understand the social and political dynamics of areas, all regions of the country, and take actions that meet the needs of the people and insist that GIROA officials do the same. Finally, either side can succeed in this conflict, GIROA, by securing the support of the people and the insurgents by controlling them. While this multifaceted model of the fight is centered on the people, it is not symmetrical. The insurgents can also succeed more simply by preventing GIROA from achieving their goals before the international community becomes exhausted. Two main threats, insurgency and crisis in confidence. ISAF mission faces two principal threats and is also subject to the influence of external actors. The first threat is the existence of organized and determined insurgent groups working to expel international forces, separate the Afghan people from GIROA, and gain control of the population. The second threat of a very different kind is the crisis of popular confidence that springs from the weakness of, GIR of GROA, <laughs> GIROA institutions. The un punished abuse of power by corrupt officials and power brokers, a widespread sense of political disenfranchisement, and a long-standing lack of economic opportunity. ISAF errors have further compounded the problem. These factors generate recruits for the insurgent groups, elevate local conflicts and power broker disputes to a national level, degrade the people's security and quality of life, and undermine international will. Addressing the external actors will enable success, however, insufficiently addressing either principal, either principal threat will result in failure. Insurgent Groups most insurgent fighters are Afghans. They are directed by a small number of Afghan senior leaders based in Pakistan that work through an alter alternative political infrastructure in Afghanistan. They are aided by foreign fighters, elements of some intelligence agencies, and international funding, resources, and training. Foreign fighters provide material expertise and ideological commitment. The insurgent wage a silent war of fear, intimidation, and persuasion throughout the year, not just during the war warmer weather fighting season, to gain control over the population. These efforts make possible in many places a Taliban shadow government that actively seeks to control the population and displace the national government and traditional power structures. The surge in military operations attract more attention than this silent war, but only supporting effort. But only a supporting effort. Violent attacks are designed to weaken the government by demonstrating its inability to provide security to fuel recruiting and financing efforts. Uh, its inability to provide security, to fuel recruiting and financing efforts, to provoke reactions from ISAF, and further alienate the population, and also to undermine public and political support for the ISAF mission in coalition capitals. The major insurgent group in order of their threat to the mission are the Qatar Shura, 
Taliban, QST, the Haqqani Network, HQN, and the Hazib Islami Gurbidin, HIG. These groups coordinate activities loosely, often achieving significant unity of purpose and even some unity of effort, but they do not share a formal command and control structure. They also do not have a single overreaching strategy or campaign plan. Each individual group, however, has a specific strategy, develops annual plans, and allocates resources accordingly. Each group has its own methods of developing and executing these plans, and each has adapted over time. Despite the best efforts of GIROA and ISAF, the insurgents currently have the initiative. Insurgent Strategy and Campaign Design The insurgents have two primary objectives, controlling the Afghan people and breaking the coalition's will. Their aim is to expel the international forces and influences and to supplement GIROA. At the operational level, the Qatar Shura conducts a formal campaign review, each winter after, the, after which Mul Omar announces his guidance and intent for the coming year. Redaction The key geographical objective of the major insurgent groups are Kandahar City and Khost Province. The QSD has been working to control Kandahar and its approaches for several years and there are indications that their influence over the city and neighboring di uh, districts is significant and growing. HQN aims to regain eventually full control of its traditional base in Khost, Pakatia, and Pakatia. It's the same thing. Must be a misspelling. HQN controls some of the key terrain around Khost and can influence unless it's a city within a town within a city. I don't know. HQN controls some of the key terrain around Khost and can influence the population in the region. Golden Hek Hekmatayas HIG maintains militant base in Nangarar, Nurstan, and Kunar, as well as Pakistan, but he also sustains political connections through HIG networks and aims to negotiate a major role in future Taliban movement. He does not currently have geographical objectives, as is the case with the other groups. All three insurgent groups require resources, mainly money and manpower. The QSD derives funding from the narcotics trade and ex external donors. HQN similarly draws resources principally from Pakistan, Gulf Arab networks, and from its close association with Al-Qaeda and other Pakistan-based insurgent groups. HIG seeks to control seeks control of mineral wealth and smuggling routes in the East. Insurgent Lines of Operation The QSD's main effort focus on the governance lines line of operations. Security and information operations support these efforts. ICF's tendency to measure the enemy predominantly by kinetic events masks the true extent of the insurgents activity and prevents an accurate assessment of the insurgents intentions, intentions, progress and level of control of the population. Governance. The QSD has a governing structure in Afghanistan under the Republic of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. They appoint shadow governors from both provinces to review their performance and replace them periodically. They establish they establish a body to receive complaints against their own officials and to act on them. They install Shira courts to deliver swift and enforce justice in contested and controlled areas. They levy taxes and conscript fighters and laborers. They claim to provide security against the corrupt government, ISAF forces, criminality, and local power brokers. They also claim to protect Afghan and Muslim identity against foreign encroachment. In short, the QSD provides major elements of governance in a national and religious narrative. HQN and HIG coexist with, or do not necessarily accept, the QSD governing framework and have yet to develop competing governing structures. Information Major insurgent groups outperform GIROA and ISAF at information operations. Information operations drive many insurgent operations as they work to shape the cultural and religious narrative. They have carefully analyzed their audience and target products accordingly. They use their Pashtun identity, physical proximity to the population, and violent intim intimidation to deliver immediate and enduring messages with which the ISAF and GIROA have been unable to compete. They leverage this advantage by projecting the inevitability of their victory, a key source of their strength. Security. Major insurgent groups use violence, coercion, and intimidation against civilians to control the population. They seek to inflict casualties on ISAF forces to break the will of the individual ISF countries and the coalition as a whole. They also use military activities to shape ISAF's actions by denying freedom of movement, denying access to the population, and defending important terrain. The insurgents use the psychological effects of IEDs and the coalition forces' preoccupation with the force protection to reinforce the garrison posture and mentality. Major insurgent groups target GIROA and ANSF to dissuade cooperation with the government 